Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. That's Anit Meyer. Today I am going to be showing you how you can, or just informing you, how you can get your East African passport in Uganda without your national ID. So if you are there, you know you lost your national ID and you want a passport, this video is for you. Well, there are two ways, you know, you can get uh, the document you must take uh, when you're going for your interview or when you are filling in uh, your application. Before I go into that, I have to inform you that for you to proceed uh, with your application online, you must have the national identification number, the NIN, N-I-N. If you don't have that number, you can't definitely proceed and finish your application. So... How do you get the NIN? Well, you can only get the NIN, the National Identification Number, from NIRA, N-I-R-A, Uganda. And you can get the NIN uh, either online or when you go to NIRA offices in Wandegea physically. I do advise you to go to NIRA offices physically because uh, it makes things way, way easier. Well, online you can still get the forms, download them, you fill them and all that. But that takes longer for you to get um, your NIN number. So if you go to Wandegea, what will happen? Well, if you go to Wandegea, the offices, you'll enter and you have to pay 10,000 Ugandan shillings um, by the entrance, maybe to the, no, to the office, so there will be an officer. And after paying that m amount of money, you will be directed to the person who is going to help you to track, find your NIN. Because remember that you had the ID, but you lost it, right? So your name is there. So what you're going to do is to provide your name and your date of birth. And after doing that, they will check it and they can forward it to you in any, any way you want. Either via message or via, um, via WhatsApp or via email. Yeah, for most of my friends who have gone there, they've been getting their, their name numbers via WhatsApp. So go with your smartphone. Yeah, or they can write it down for you. And after that, they will process a document that will act as like a recommendation letter. Not a recommendation letter, but the confirmation of you uh, as a citizen of Uganda. Yeah, that letter. I'm going to show you how that, how that letter looks like. So wait for that. You'll get that letter with the name. So you'll get the name from that letter and then fill it in the online application. And then you proceed. So after paying in the bank, as I showed you in the other video, and then uh, going to your appointment, you'll have to show that document. That is the document you present. The document you receive from NIRA is the one you're going to present when you go for your passport interview. And um, then after presenting that document, you will, of course, definitely go back home to wait for the message. And when you're going to collect your passport from Chambogo, yes, Chambogo, those who don't know where to get their passports from, just to go to Chambogo. Oh, uh, sorry, <laughs> just to go to my YouTube channel. I have already made a video about how to collect your passport and the new rules and all that. So just check this playlist. Yes, you'll also take that paper, yeah, that document, to get your passport. So that document is very, very important. What do we all learn from this before I show you this document? Well, whenever you get anything important, for example, a national ID or a passport or or your certificates from school, scan them. Get a scanning app. I use Camscanner. So if you are there and you don't know what Camscanner is, download Camscanner. It's free of charge. Scan your documents and have them in. Then after, create uh, an email address, Gmail, and then upload your uh, upload your documents there. We can all lose, you know, national IDs. We can lose passports. We can lose, you know, some important, you know, documents, you know. But if you don't have any copies of them, what can happen to you? It makes the, you know, the steps or the process to get them back a bit longer. But if you have copies, it makes it easy for you to get them back. And if you say, oh, well, I just made copies of them and I have a lot of them at home. Well, what if, you know, uh, your house catches fire due to electricity, gas or anything? What will you do in that instance? So have copies of your important documents online to avoid, you know, delays in getting those documents back to you. Ah, uh, yeah, so here is how the document looks like. Oh. 
Okay, thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Get your e-passport. Let's travel together to the world. Bye. No,